This presentation is part of the TI in Focus AP Calculus video series. In this video, I'll discuss some technology solutions and problem extensions for the 2017 AP Calculus exam, Free Response Question AB2. My name is Steve Kokoska, and I'm a professor at Bloomsburg University in Pennsylvania, and I am a former AP Calculus chief reader. Here's an outline of the information presented in this video. I'll start by reviewing the free response question, and then the scoring guidelines used at the AP Calculus reading. And I will focus on the solutions presented in these guidelines, not how the points were awarded. Now this free response question was calculator active, and so I'll show you how to use technology where it's appropriate. And because the free response questions are usually very comprehensive, I'll suggest some problem extensions. These are additional AP calculus type questions associated with the information given in the problem. And some of these questions may be calculator active. In this contextual problem, the setting is a grocery store selling bananas. There are initially 50 pounds of bananas on a display table and customers remove bananas at a rate modeled by the function f. In addition, after three hours, store employees begin to replenish the display table by adding bananas at a rate modeled by the function g. Note that both functions, f and g, are rate functions. In part a, how many pounds of bananas were removed from the display table during the first two hours the store was open? In part B, we need to find F prime of 7 and interpret this value in the context of the problem. In part C, we need to determine if the number of pounds of bananas is increasing or decreasing at time t equal 5. And in part D, we need to find out how many pounds of bananas are on the display table at time t equal 8. Here's a quick look at the scoring standard used at the AP Calculus reading. And remember, I'm going to focus on the solutions, not how the points were awarded. Part A was worth two points. One point for presenting the correct integral, which includes the limits of integration here. The student must use correct mathematical notation and write the correct definite integral. And one point for the final numerical answer, correct to three decimal places. Part B was also worth two points. The first point was for presenting the correct numerical value for f prime of 7. The second point was for explaining the meaning of this value in the context of this problem which must include the correct units, an appeal to the time t equals 7, and evidence of a correct interpretation as a rate of a rate in this context. Part C was worth two points. The first point was a conceptual point for considering the values f of 5 and g of 5. And really, just for f of 5 and g of 5 without the numerical values, was sufficient in this problem. The second point was for providing the correct answer with an appropriate reason. Part D was worth three points. One point each for the definite integrals and one point for putting everything together and finding the correct answer. In Part A, we need to use a definite integral to accumulate the number of pounds of bananas customers removed from the display table during the first two hours the store is open. So using the TI Inspire, I defined a function f, and then I simply evaluated a definite integral. Remember that the student needs to report final numerical answers with three digits to the right of the decimal, rounded or truncated. And here, that value is the same, 20.051. Here's an extension to part A. Since we also have the rate at which bananas are being added to the display table, we can ask some questions associated with the function g. How many pounds of bananas are added to the display table during the time interval 4 to 6? 
and find the maximum rate at which bananas are added to the display table for t between 3 and 12. Once again, we need to use a definite integral to accumulate the number of pounds of bananas added to the display table. This time, the rate function is g. Using the TI Inspire, I defined a function g, and then I simply evaluated another definite integral. 23.017 pounds of bananas are added to the display table during the time interval 4 to 6. To find the maximum rate at which bananas are added, I'll start by finding the first derivative of g. Here's g prime of t using the ti inspire. For t in the interval 3 to 12, g prime of t is greater than 0. Therefore, the function g, the rate function, is increasing on the interval 3 to 12. So the maximum rate occurs at the right endpoint, t equal 12. I evaluated g at 12 to find the maximum rate at which bananas are added to the display table, and it's 15.298. And to visualize this result, I graphed the function g over an appropriate interval to confirm that this function is indeed increasing over this interval, 3 to 12. And I also evaluated g on the graph screen to see my numerical answer, 15.298. The first step in Part B is pretty easy using technology. I just need to evaluate f prime at t equals 7. And the value is minus 8.120. The interpretation in context is perhaps a little bit more complicated. Well, at least more conceptual. At the moment or instant that the store has been open for seven hours, the rate at which bananas are being removed from the display table is decreasing by 8.120 pounds per hour per hour. In Part C, I need to consider the difference g of 5 minus f of 5. Now, I already have f and g defined, so I just need to find this numerical value and it's minus 2.263. Since this value is less than 0, that means that g of 5 is less than f of 5, and therefore the number of pounds of bananas on the display table is decreasing at time t equal 5. In Part D, I need to consider an expression involving definite integrals that represents the total number of pounds of bananas on the display table at time t equal 8. Note that it's nice that the calculator displays the definite integrals in proper mathematical notation. Again, I already have f and g defined, so I just need to type the correct expression. And there are 23.347 pounds of bananas on the display table at time t equal 8. Here's an extension to this free response question. First, let's see if we can find the minimum pounds of bananas on the display table for t between 0 and 12. And then, let's suppose that the grocery store is open 24 hours, and also assume that the rate models are valid over this extended time period. Let's see if we can find the first time that the display table will have 75 pounds of bananas. I want to use technology to solve this problem, so I'm going to start by defining g to be a piecewise defined function. There are no bananas added to the table for t between 0 and 3, so the rate is 0 during that interval. And I'll also define a function b, which represents the total number of pounds of bananas on the display table at any time t in the interval 0 to 24. I'm going to use technology to solve this problem, leave a little bit of the justification to you, and suggest a few more issues to investigate. Here's a graph of my function b, and here's a graph of the derivative of b, which is g minus f. Both graphs suggest that the absolute minimum occurs at t equal to 6.397.
and the minimum pounds of bananas on the table over the interval 0 to 12 is 14.073. Now, see if you can reconcile these characteristics in the two graphs. For t between 0 and 3, the graph of b looks like a straight line. Explain why this is true or false. Why is there a break in the graph of b prime of x? And there are certainly other values of x such that b prime of x is equal to 0. How can we be sure that the absolute minimum occurs at 6.397? To find the first time there are 75 pounds of bananas on the display table, I graphed the function b over the interval 0 to 24 and the line y equals 75. I found the intersection of these two graphs to occur when x is approximately 17.6. To confirm this result, I solved the expression b of x equals 75 and found the first time there are 75 pounds of bananas on the display table is at t equal to 17.640. Now note that I've used x as the independent variable on the calculator, but the independent variable in this problem is t. The extended graph of the function b over the interval 0 to 24 raises some interesting questions. Well, at least I think it does. Describe the graph of b as x increases without bound. Does the graph of b have an oblique asymptote? And if so, find the equation of this asymptote. And suppose the rate functions can be modeled by these new functions f and g. Find the absolute minimum and the absolute maximum pounds of bananas on the display table over the interval 0 to 24. I hope this video gives you some good ideas for additional practice AP calculus exam type questions and of how to use technology to solve some of the parts of this problem and to explore, confirm, and visualize results. One extra note here. Having grown up in the Boston, Massachusetts area, I still think there should be an R on the end of that word, bananas. And just a reminder, there are lots of valuable resources on the TI website. There is material there involving technology and calculus, classroom activities, and lots of calculator tips and tricks for test success.